So let's go uh, to some of the lessons from Netflix. So if you were to call a younger version of yourself and tell yourself to do the kind of what key lessons that you would do differently through Netflix, you know, through the history of Netflix. Obviously, you've been a founder of, sure. of companies before, you know, rational, et cetera. But what were the key lessons you had? This is an inflection thing that I wish I had done differently. Um, so we were growing, we went public in 2002, growing nicely in 03 and 04. And uh, Blockbuster, uh, which then was 20 times larger than us, uh, finally counterattacked. And, and I'm very curious. How many people, raise your hand if you know what Blockbuster is? Uh, they know what it oh, is. okay. But <laughs> it's not quite yet. But, you, but you, a more accurate now. question was, you remember actually renting a DVD? Well, so, so it's <laughs> And Redbox is still quite yes. popular, <laughs> yes. so, you know. Um, in 03 and 04, we're growing really fast. 05, Blockbuster attacks. Um, and so we thought we were very clever. We came up with a number of ways to counterattack. Uh, and remember that everybody's got every DVD. So you've got basically the same co Blockbuster and us had the same content offering because it's non-exclusive licensing to get DVDs. So we could differentiate on our service fulfillment levels were 99% and theirs were 89. But that's like a really abstract for a customer, you know, thinking of signing up doesn't mean anything, right? Um, and then they discounted massively, so it was like half our price. Um, and so we were losing share. So, uh, you know, we were struggling with what to do about it. So we did three or four big efforts. One is, in the end of 05, we added Netflix Friends, which was our own social network. And remember in 05, you know, Facebook's just on a few universities, okay? So our own social network amongst our members. And if you enabled each other, you could see what each other were renting and rating. Um, and we thought, wow, the viral effects of this would be really powerful, et cetera. Uh, we added ad sales um, back in the day. It was like a Yahoo type banners, and you could have we could have we sold banners, you know, above the the choosing interface. Um, we added used DVD sales on our site to consumers. So you know, of course, we had some excess DVDs from four years ago. So we added an operation to sell them for four bucks a pop, and you know, it's a different logistics, um, but we added all that. Uh, and we added uh, Red Envelope Entertainment, which was a group that we um, brought in to buy DVDs, buy films out of Sundance and similar festivals to then publish them on DVD, so getting into content. So we did these four efforts. And each one, you know, was a dozen people, 15 people, and made us feel great. I mean, the employees loved them because, you know, here was a tangible thing that was not just 98% versus 89%. Here was a thing that they couldn't do or weren't doing. It was a differentiator, right? And wasn't management so clever? Uh, and we went through these waves of battles in 06 and 07. Uh, and in the end, we won. Uh, they ended up closing down their online thing and, and two years later going completely bankrupt. But we looked back and none of those four efforts made any contribution to our victory. Uh, and one by one, we had closed them down along the way, every single one of those four. And so th in hindsight, we realized when attacked, we should retreat to do the core better and not try to broaden the uh, surface of attack, essentially. Uh, and it was a great lesson for us of focus. And so now when people say, aren't you getting into news or sports? We're like, absolutely not. You know, and we're really confident of our answer. Like movies and TV shows on a global basis, enormous market. And so we're much less subject to being prone to go off and chase the shiny object to try to have something and a checklist to differentiate and to trust. And in hindsight, if we had just gone from like 98% perfect to 99.9, we would have done a lot more for the business. Um, and, you know, and it's hard work. It's operational logistics, how to get DVDs not to break. I mean, the amount of polycarbonate analysis we had to do is all this stuff. Um, we would have beaten Blockbuster sooner than we did. Uh -huh. um, and so that's one of the great lessons out of that time.